So we're now hitting the issue of what mouse to do next. We have too many mice. <laughs> we're probably not even... That stack wasn't even half of them, I don't think. You might have got a counterfeit. I didn't get a counterfeit Razor mouse. Razor mouse from Walmart. Yeah, I was gonna say Z Walmart. Okay, this. Is, which one are we looking at right now? The Basilisk Essential. Okay, so this, to my knowledge, is a Walmart exclusive. I have not seen anywhere else. Have you? Uh, yeah, you can get it online. I think you can order them if I remember correctly. Same dish, stickers, and yada yada. <sighs> Box. Blah, 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 blah. It's running Same for the most part. We're keeping the, the boxes because I want to take pictures of them just to document it. Because a lot of times, uh, you know, a lot of people wouldn't have access to these mice. And many years later, opens, opens the same way, you know. Oh, Trevor there Black we go. Jean, yada yada, comes on out. Oh, hey, look, you get the clutch button right there. That's the one big thing with the basilisk. So was it oh, yeah, you get the two shape. <sighs> Yeah, the, the Basilisk is a knockoff 502, yeah. but better in every way, pretty much. I mean, and that's the, the sniper kinda. button. We're going to add her to the pile of weird accessories. I just have a box of weird mouse accessories. I don't know, I don't know if it's better in every single way. This is a this is the OG Basilisk shape. Yes, correct. This isn't the new one. With that's the, more finger-tippy grip? Yes. Yes, yeah, the, like the HyperX this thing of a jigger. This is more preferred to me. but I like the new shape, actually. The new shape is pretty good, but... I mean, I have it upstairs in the in the the hyper. Yeah. I just bought it. Yeah, I I do like the ship though. I know why they went smaller because my the trend now is to make mice smaller. I also do think that the new basilisk shape is actually making ba the basilisk more its own mouse, rather than like the first basilisk was basically just razors five hundred two. Uh, nice thing about this one too is uh, it's freaking light. It's lighter, yeah. Like, I think the original one was like a hundred and It doesn't have the adjustable strand. scroll wheel. So, yeah, you lose, you missed that. It's the 6400 DPI sensor. So, I think it's the same sensor as the Death Adder 2013. If yeah. I remember correctly. Yes. Which is still good. There's a lot of, apparently there's a lot of smoothing on it. But. That's still a solid it, sensor. Like, no, I always no, pick up a 2013. Definitely and, very good. So. I don't mean, know. The 2013 was the first, like, that was the Death Adder that, like, I always just kept in my bag. Yeah. So, like, when I went to lands. Even though I never used the death adder otherwise, yeah. I would just. I think a couple thing, minutes I'm in. Yeah, I think the other thing that they had to like compromise on, because the uh, standard one, I think, the original basilisk had the 3360 or the variant of it. So yeah. yeah you get ch slightly cheaper sensor, slightly worse sensor, and I think the clicks are only like the, the older 20 mil arm rounds versus the. But mm -hmm. as I argue with screws all the time, sensors have been perfectly fine for many, yeah, many, yeah, many yeah. years. Um, so this sensor. And to be truthful, I really like the 2013 Death Adder sensor. So if it is that one, this to me in my hand, if you're a palm mouse guy, yeah. especially if you like a 502 style shape, yeah. this is good. And I, to be truthful, I would take this essential over the original Basilisk. basilisk? Yeah. Yep. And then this one has the block off for the, it doesn't, the original yeah, Basilisk had it. two different, yeah, yeah, but it had two different lengths too. Yeah. You only get the one length on this one. Yeah. But, and I feel like this, even though this is technically a cheaper surface because it's just textured plastic i almost like it better let me see those side grip skin that seems like the side grips that they're putting on i wonder if that's on the uh the mamba elite but it seems like it yeah is this is right around the same era as that yep so I, I don't think i like those nearly as much as the ones where they had the ribbing you know what yeah I'm saying? Uh, the those were out actually, and I they, guess, they yeah, collected they crap were, they were actually much grippier yeah me at least the thing is, is because they were a softer rubber and a thicker rubber, yeah. they wore yeah, out quicker. Why I like these and and they, they like if you looked at my basilisk, my original one was just grotesque. Okay. Like it just. Okay. But I, I feel like with this too, your thumb fits in real nice. Um, yeah, if you're looking for like a, a variant of a 502 and you don't want to do the. <laughs> this is way lighter than a yeah. 502. Yeah. Way lighter. Or, if you want to go wireless. X hyperspeed. X hyper. Yeah, and the one thing to be aware of though is after this one, yeah. um, and this came out. The weird kind of weird thing is the Basilisk Essential came out at almost at the same time as the X hyperspeed, mm -hmm. and the bat. What's the highest end one? The two ultimate. Or the V two ultimate. Yeah. And there is a V two non ultimate that's wired as well. Yeah. Um, to be truthful, I would say avoid that. That might that might just be the Basilisk V two, and then I think the other one's the Basilisk Ultimate. I, it's very very confusing knows, with man. it, but it, it, this is the older shape, even though it came out right around the same time as the newer mice. Yeah. 
Yeah. And then also the shape on the X um, is different than the V2, too. I don't know if you knew that. And I have them both upstairs sitting next to each other right now. That's the only reason why I noticed. The That's X kind of is different. even smaller. Okay. It has less of a butt. Its butt got kind of... That's probably because they had to do that for the battery compartment. So, butt got kind of chopped off. But this is a solid mouse right here. Um, if you can find one, they're pretty cheap, actually. I ended up getting it with, like, a $20 gift card, and I added 5 bucks. So, it's, like, $30, $30 mouse maybe at Walmart. Maybe 40 at most. So, and that's a solid mouse. Like, I don't know if you hear that. Like, it's built well. Unlike, you know, like, say, this Rosewell is built, like, utter... It feels, feels nice in the hand. That's one thing that Razer does well, that some brands, like, once they slim them up, you know, they make them real light, they start feeling real, real cheap. Razer manages to not do that. I feel like the scroll is pretty good, too, on this. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's probably a, a TTC or a Kale encoder, though. All so, right, guys. Well, uh, if you want to see more, um, we got more coming. We got more coming. There we go. We going to the next green one? Uh, maybe. We'll see.